morning everyone welcome back to the vlog why is this so like top heavy right now there we go that's better welcome back to the vlog um starting the vlog off in like the most beautiful luxurious thing i can ever start the vlog off in um but last night i slept with my little heatless curl thing in and i wasn't ready to take it out because i knew i will i was hopeful that i was going to work out this morning which i did so that's why this is still in but good morning um i am not sure if this is going to be a weekend vlog or just a friday vlog i haven't decided yet we'll kind of see how much i get to film today um but i'm excited to vlog nonetheless i took like a little bit of unplanned time off of youtube basically like just the last little while it's just been like there's just been stuff going on that i'm just like i just don't feel like filming and like i just don't feel like like i just didn't feel like myself the last little while so i was just kind of like eh, i don't really know so i was planning on trying to film like a like a evening routine kind of video for you guys um for last thursday and it just like didn't i don't know it just took me forever to try and film it and every time i tried to film it something just went wrong and i was just kind of like overwhelmed and i'm like i'm just not gonna upload i'm just i don't want to put out a video that I just don't feel 100% about so I'm really glad I did that at the time I was sad because I was like I wish I was able to keep up with the like two day a week um uploads and like I was doing such a good job so far this year but I was like you know what just take a second for yourself like I yeah I just I just wanted to take a minute so I'm glad I did that I definitely feel better about it I feel excited to film for today which is nice um but yeah so this morning we just got up dealt with the cat dealt with the dog um i had a workout or i did a workout i read a little bit of my book um this book i have to read in small doses because it is so bizarre i'm currently reading bunny and it is just like the weirdest book ever like i don't even know how to describe it um i love it so far but it's very weird and i really have to read it in small doses and two nights ago, I literally had a nightmare and I'm pretty sure it's because of this book. And like the nightmare was like, like, I've never had a nightmare like that before. Like it wasn't like, I wasn't scared. It was just weird. It was very weird. Um, but yeah, anyways, today we are doing some fun things. Um, I am making bread for the first time in like probably two months. We've been so busy on weekends. I have not had time to like actually dedicate time to bread because if you know the bread process literally or the sourdough process takes like basically three days <laughs> like consecutively um so i haven't made bread in a really long time and my starter has been in the fridge for a very long time so i fed it two nights ago and then i fed it again last night and then this morning i started my uh bread like the dough and i just like i texted austin and i said the dough feels a little bit funny today like it just feels very runny and i added a little bit more flour than i normally do to the recipe because i'm like maybe i just didn't add enough flour like maybe i screwed up the measurements and i didn't realize um but yeah i don't know we'll we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> with the bread um but yeah anyways that's like that's where we're at so Today, um, I'm going to get ready, put some makeup on, do my hair. Well, all I have to do is take this thing out, but I'm going to do that. And then depending on how this bread is going, I'm either going to make bread or if the bread's not going to turn out, I'm just going to scrap the bread all together and not waste my time. Um, and I might actually head into town today because I have a lot of clothes I want to bring to Plato's closet to drop off. Um, so I wanted to do that and I would so much rather do that on like a Friday morning or midday um, when it's not as busy at Plato's Closet. And then I was just going to like just like putt around town and just like whatever. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I probably was going to go look at Indigo. I don't need anything, but I was going to go look. And then I might have run into Costco to get just like a couple things. Nothing crazy. Um, 
but yeah so we'll see i also have to clean because brandon and heidi are coming over tomorrow um so i need to clean up the house a little bit i need to make sure i vacuum perfectly so that we get as much cat hair away as possible so that brandon can at least attempt to breathe when he's in our house um but yeah so i have to do that today too at some point so we're just gonna play it by ear see how the day goes see where the see where the wind takes us sort of deal um, but right now I am just sitting, I'm waiting. I have like, what's left on my timer? I have 11 minutes left on my timer until I have to start doing my stretch and folds. And this is really going to tell me if the bread is like not going to happen. Um, so I'm going to wait for the stretch and fold, drink my coffee. I'm probably just like scroll on my phone, honestly. Um, and then once that is like, once I'm able to do my stretch and folds, I'm going to go upstairs and start getting ready. And then we will be on with our day. But yeah, anyway. I'm excited for you guys to be here. I'm feeling chatty today, so who knows what this vlog is going to be like. So here we go. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup today with you guys and I'm going to show you guys what I'm what I have been wearing because if you've been following along on my little journey this year that I've been going on I've been trying this like mentality of like look good feel good and I've been trying to like put together outfits more I've been trying to do my makeup and do my hair more so I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing for my makeup um, and with that, I also wanted to show you guys um, some stuff that I was gifted from Merit Beauty, and I'm really, really excited. I have never, first of all, I've never been gifted anything in my life by a company, and when Merit reached out, I was just like, uh, yes, <laughs> like, I would love if you guys would send me something, like, what? So it was definitely like, people talk about imposter syndrome and I'm kind of always like, well, of course you know, like you, of course you would like feel like you deserve it because like you work so hard and you do so much stuff for YouTube and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, when I got that email, I was like, why would they be, why would they send me something? What, why, why do you want to send me something? So definitely imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome is real. But anyways, um, this is what I got from them and I want to show you guys I've been using this stuff for about three weeks now and I really 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 love all the stuff that they gave me um I'll let you guys know like what it is um and then down below there is an affiliate link um so if you do purchase anything through that link I get a little bit of a kickback so I just wanted to let you guys know that um but if there's anything you want to try out too um you can shop through my link down in the description below but yeah so they sent me along this cute little makeup bag this is like the quintessential makeup bag that you get from Merit any first order that you make you get a little makeup bag like this and I love it it's literally the perfect size this fits all the makeup that I use on the daily in here and it's a great size so just a little tie top inside it just says merit on the tag and then this is what they sent me so they sent along their eye set so it comes with four different products here the eye set includes the solo shadow and I got it in the color studio it's like a pinky brown I would like to say um, but this is a cream to powder shadow um, so this is the color there they also sent along their what's this one called um, this is brush number two, so it's just like a little eyeshadow brush on the one side. It's like a little eyeshadow um, <laughs> brush, <laughs> and then the other one is kind of like more of a pencil kind of brush, so like to kind of do like a little bit of smudging along your lash line. That's at least what I've been using it for. Um, and then they also sent along their Clean Lash, which is actually a tubing mascara, um, and not to spoil anything, this is probably one of my favorite mascaras ever. I like a mascara that is buildable, but when you put it on, like if you just do one coat, it looks super, super natural while still giving a lot of length and volume. This does that, seriously. I, I love that mascara. Um, and then they also sent along the Brow 1980. This is just like a brow gel, and this is in the shade brown. Um, and it's just like a simple brow product you put in i love it it is a brown color and normally right now i'm using a auburn color because i have um a like redness to my hair um so sometimes i find when i wear it my eyebrows look a little bit dark but when i have my hair up and it's just like 
my roots showing. Um, I think it looks great because it matches my hair color great. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I have been doing for my makeup all together and I'll show you guys kind of how I have been wearing the Merit eye products. So first thing I do is I put moisturizer and sunscreen on. I've already done this so I let it sit for a little bit. That's all on my face all ready to go. Um, so the next thing that I use is the say, what is this even called? This is the glowy super gel in star glow. So I just do one pump on the back of my hand. I take my fingers. Also, I don't have a regular mirror. Like I just have my viewfinder. So I might be getting like real close to the camera. Um, but I just like dab this on my face everywhere and then I just rub it in to my skin. And then I won't put this away. Oh, I didn't rub that in on my nose enough. I won't put this away quite yet. So what I do is I just take a little bit of the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I am in the shade Light Zero. Um, and I just put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Literally like that much is perfectly fine. I don't like a lot of coverage. Um, I don't find that I need it, but I also just don't like the feel of like a heavy foundation. So that's why one, I like the tinted moisturizer, but two, I really don't use a lot. And then I would put, I would say like half of the amount of tinted moisturizer of the same say dewy glowy stuff. <laughs> um, and then I mix this together on the back of my hand. And then I just apply this all over my face with my fingers. Like I used to be a beauty blender girl through and through. And my sister-in-law, I feel like I've talked about this recently in like a maybe favorites video or something. But um, my sister-in-law has converted me to just using my fingers to blend in my makeup and honestly I am floored at how much of a difference it makes um it really just like melts the makeup into your skin and like it's so funny because when I was younger I used to use my fingers all the time because I didn't have brushes <laughs> I was just like oh I'll just use my fingers and then I got out of using it because I don't know if I find like I just don't like the feel of it on my hands or what but Anyway, I would just use beauty blenders and I just found that like beauty blenders would soak up so much of the product and like while I liked the look of it on my skin, I was just like not 100% with it and I was just like, oh, maybe this is just how it looks. Um, but since I've been using my hands and my fingers, I really just, I think it looks so much better on my skin um, this way. So. Okay, that's everything. I'm just gonna go get a towel so that I can like wipe my fingers in between this because normally I wash my hands in between because I can't stand things being on my hands. <laughs> okay, so I do look a little bit pale with this on, but I am just a pale girly right now. Like that's just like the color of my skin. So <laughs> I do brighten it up a little bit with um, like contour and like bronzer and stuff. But anyways, okay, so after this is done, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. After like the base is done then I will go in with my concealer and I love this concealer this is the milk makeup future fluid all over cream concealer <laughs> it's a mouthful um but this is just like really nice because it's very lightweight again that's like my biggest thing I don't like to feel makeup on me I don't mind if I if it feels like it's like a little bit of a moisturizer or a cream on my face but if it feels like it's like thick and heavy I do not like it so I literally just put a little bit in my under eyes and then anywhere else that I feel like needs a little bit more concealer but honestly right now everything's looking pretty good i'm just gonna go grab like an actual mirror also i'm maybe i'll put it on this side so that i can see also okay this is much better okay so then <laughs> once i have make sure i'm actually covered up here actually i'm gonna put a little bit i have like a little weird i don't know if it's a pimple or the start of a pimple but it's like right above my eyebrow there okay so this is all i use and then i just take my fingers again and i just I tap it. I don't like rub it at all. I just kind of like tap it into my skin. So I will apply this all over. And I will just say like I find like using my fingers takes a little bit longer just because it doesn't like blend in as quickly as a beauty blender for sure. But 
I just find the overall end result just looks a lot better on my skin. Once all that's done, then I will take my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury and I will just spray this all over my face. And again, if you watched my favorites video, I never used to be a setting spray person. Like I would use it for like a little while and I was like, I feel like this isn't doing anything for my face. Like I feel like this is literally like just pointless, but it really does make a difference. This one, um, I really like the setting spray. Okay, so once that is like basically dry, I will then take, um, I will then take my Laura Mercier loose setting powder just a translucent setting powder. I have literally used this for years. Like, not this specific one. This is, like, I've repurchased it many times. Um, but I love this. This is a tried and true. I don't powder everywhere. I just powder under my eyes, and I just use, like, very little. Um, but I just feel like my under eyes crease pretty easily, so I literally just put, like, the smallest amount, but just a little bit under my eyes and I just find that it helps to set it a little bit better. Um, then I take my bronzer. This is the Rare Beauty Happy Soul Bronzer Stick. I used to apply this just directly on my face, um, but recently, again for my sister-in-law, she's my little makeup guru, um, she told me I should be trying to apply this with a brush and it really does make a difference. I use way less product because I'm not like smearing it on my face and I feel like, again, it just looks a lot more natural. So I just kind of like dab it on the end of my brush. Not a lot. You can't even really tell how much I use. Ellie girl, <laughs> she's trying to get the cap. Um, and then I just kind of like work it into like even that, like that looks like so much. Um, but I just kind of like work it into... The area is where I would contour anyways, but it's not really a contour. It's kind of just like darkening up your face, basically. And I use a little bit of like a stipple motion and then I kind of do like a little bit of a back and forth. So I take a little bit and put it um, around like my cheekbone areas and then I put a little bit up by my hairline. And again, with this Rare Beauty one, a little bit goes a long way. So you really don't have to use a lot. Um, and then just like literally with whatever's left over on my brush, I'll just do a little bit on both sides of my nose. I really don't know if this makes a difference, <laughs> the nose thing. Um, but I've kind of always done it, so I just kind of stick to it. Um, but yeah, so that's all I do for my bronzer. And then for blush, again, this is a cream blush. Normally I used to use my finger, but then I think I would use too much. So I started using a brush with it and it makes a big difference also. This is the Tower 28 Beach Please in the shade Magic Hour. So I literally just take my brush. I do a little dab, dab, dab. You kind of have to warm it up a little bit, this stuff, because it doesn't grab like right away on the brush. Um, but I just take a little bit and then I just smile and apply it to my cheeks. I feel like I still have a little bit of my other shade on here because I fluctuate between using the Tower 28 blush and then also um, the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Joy. Those are like the two that I fluctuate between. And then I kind of like start applying it here and then I'll work it in towards my nose and then up on my nose because I don't like putting a ton of blush on my nose but I like a little bit because it does help to like brighten up your face. See, now I don't look as pale, but it doesn't look like I'm trying to put a different color on my face. I have hair. Okay. It doesn't look like I'm trying to put a different color on my face, you know, like for foundation. It just like looks like I've had a little bit of sun, but that's what you do for that. And then I take a little bit of highlight. This is, again is the Rare Beauty and this is the Liquid Luminizer in Enlighten. I take a little bit of this. I just put it on my finger and then I apply it on my skin. I feel like 
if I apply it directly to my skin, um, it dries quickly. So if I just do it like a little bit at a time, it stays a little bit longer. But I don't do a ton of this, just a little bit. So I just put this on my cheekbones and then a little bit on my nose and then on my like Cupid's bow area. And then sometimes I do underneath of my eyebrow, but not a lot, especially when I haven't plucked my eyebrows recently, which is currently the case. <laughs> that, so now that that's all done, I will use the airbrush setting spray again. <laughs> this I feel like it just helps to melt everything into your face, but I like to do this before my eye makeup because I just feel like I just don't want my eyes to like smudge. So I just use this. So now that that's done, I kind of just let it dry again a little bit. Okay, so then I will use the Merit Solo Shadow in Studio. So I just take a little bit on the brush, dab it in the brush, and then I start from the corner of my eye. I don't like a ton of shadow um, during the day. At nighttime, it's a little bit different. Like I feel like it's more like I do more of a dramatic thing, but I just put a little bit in my crease at the edge and then I kind of just will slowly work it in towards like the center of my eye, but I mostly keep it towards the edge for like the majority of the product. And this is so pigmented. Like I am shocked at how pigmented it is honestly and it really does work the way that it says it works where it's like it applies as a cream but then as it dries it really becomes a shadow or a powder um but yeah so once i've like applied it to my eyes then i will work it in towards the center beautiful and then what I like to do, I either like to take a shimmer shadow or I actually take my highlight and I put it on the center, more towards the middle of my eye. So I take, again, just like the littlest bit and I just apply it like right in the center. And then I kind of bring it more towards the inner corner. And I just find it lightens my eye a little bit more. Okay, then I will do my eyebrows. Um, so then all I do with this, very straightforward, I just brush my eyebrows up and I kind of do an arch as I brush them. Um, but honestly, again, a little goes a long way with this stuff and it really does hold your eyebrows in place. So I have very naturally bushy eyebrows. Um, but through the years of, unfortunately, elementary school and high school, I was slightly bullied in how big my eyebrows were. So I fell victim to plucking them like crazy. And I had chicken pox when I was like in grade eight. So I have like little bald spots in my eyebrows from how much I had plucked them when I was younger um, and the chicken pox. <laughs> so like this eyebrow, I always have to fill in. So what I do is I just take like instead of going, um, how would I say that? Like flat <laughs> to my skin, I take the little tip of the brush and I kind of just like pinpoint and I'm more so, I can more so feel myself like almost drawing in my eyebrow right in that area. Um, and I find it works well to like fill in that bold spot. So I don't know if I can give you any tips like for makeup, that's like the only one I could give you, but, but yeah, so. There's the eyebrows, love. And then I like to just like run my fingers along the tops and then down just to like clear up any like excess product, you know? Okay, and then on to lashes and mascara. I am telling you, this is like the best mascara ever. I am shocked at how much I like it because I feel like I'm pretty picky on mascaras and I really do like this. So I'm gonna try and stay in frame here, but don't mind my face when I do this. So I always curl my lashes because I feel like my lashes are fairly straight. So I just give them a little curl. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear Cooper snoring on the bed. <laughs> oh, okay. That is the curl. Oh, I always got to get my like vision back. <laughs> oh 
my eyes after. Um, so here is, I'm like backwards, here is the mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It's a fluffy, um, like fibrous wand. It's not a plastic wand, which normally I like a plastic wand, but I love this wand. And I just work this into my eyelashes. Okay. I don't know if you can like totally tell the difference, but this is with and this is without. I feel like I always can tell the difference. And as you saw, I'm going to try and not like cut the footage so that you can see like how little I basically put on my eye and how much it actually does to my eye. But I love this mascara. And because, hold on, I can't say this while I'm doing this. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And I put a little bit on my lower lash line, but like hardly anything. Okay, and because this is a tubing mascara, to take it off, it is literally so easy. This isn't a waterproof. Sorry, my camera cut out. This isn't a tubing mascara, uh, or sorry. <laughs> This is a tubing mascara. It isn't waterproof, but it won't smudge. Basically, all you do when you go to take it off, you take a damp cloth, warm water, typically not hot, but like warm. You hold it on your eye for like 10 to 30 seconds. And all you do, you look down, you put your finger on top of your lash, hold it, and then just open your eyes and all the makeup, all the mascara will be right here. Wipe it off. Done. That's it so easy to take off you're not like scrubbing you're not like removing mascara the next three days because it's been on your lashes it's literally so good tubing mascara is insane how it works i don't understand the like science behind it but it is insane it's so good um but yeah so that is basically the finished face makeup i'm just gonna put on my lip gloss normally i put on like um my lip sleeping mask before this too because i just like the feel of it but today i'm using the tower 28 shine on lip jelly in the shade pistachio i love this uh lip gloss it's like one of those lips that's like your lips but better you know like it's already pretty close to my natural color so it just looks natural in the best way i also just got that all over my skin <laughs> That was like the worst lip gloss apply ever. Yeah, so that is my not everyday makeup because I really have not been wearing makeup every single day. But when I do wear makeup, this is exactly what I do every single time. And I just I love it so much. I feel like it looks natural in a way but also like you can tell I'm wearing makeup but like in a very subtle way and I love it I just love how it looks I love how it feels it feels so light on my skin and it's like stunning I love it so much so this is the makeup I'm now gonna get changed um and then I think I'm gonna head into town because it is 10 o'clock so I want to go to Plato's closet as soon as I can because I don't want to be in town forever today but I'd like to, you know, get some stuff done. So, packing up all my makeup here. My cute little bag. And again, if you'd like to shop Merit, my link is down below and you can check that out there. But yeah, yay. Okay, also, I wanted to show you guys before I get changed for it today. I want to show you guys some stuff because I made a second Abercrombie order. I'm obsessed with Abercrombie all of a sudden. And I must, I mean, it's not all of a sudden, but I mean, it is, but I'm happy that I'm obsessed with it um, because I'm so pleased with all the quality and the sizing of everything. Like, normally when I'm ordering stuff online, I'm like, I have no clue what size I am. I could be anywhere between like a small to an extra large and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. Everything I've ordered from Abercrombie has all like been basically the same size, basically the same look on me and it's been great. So I'm just gonna give you guys a very quick haul of everything I got because I don't want this video to be super long and I'm not gonna try everything on, but I guarantee you, you will see me in all of this in videos. So, <laughs> um, okay, first thing, 
I had to. This is a men's um, t-shirt and I just thought this is perfect for Disney World, obviously. It's double sided front and back. I love, and I love the quality of this t-shirt. I was nervous because it's black. I'm like, how am I gonna wear this in Walt Disney World? Because I have other black t-shirts that I've worn in Disney World and like, I am just dripping in sweat. But the feel of this, it's like light while still feeling good quality. Um, like it's lightweight while still feeling like good quality. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So anyways, love this shirt. I got this in an extra large in the men's um, and it's like perfectly oversized. I got this jacket. I'm so excited about this jacket. I have wanted a jacket like this for so long. Okay, I will try this one on for you guys. <laughs> um, I wanted a jacket like this for so long and I've tried to thrift it, but it's just so hard to find like one that fits perfectly. And oh my gosh, this one literally fits so well. It's hard to tell like where I have my camera situated right now, but it comes just below my butt and it's just like super cute, super casual. I love it. I'm probably actually gonna wear this today. So I'm going to leave this aside. Um, I got this stunning midi dress. I literally want to order this in every other color and pattern that they have. But it's this beautiful dress with like the, I don't know what kind of sleeve these are called, but they're like a puffy sleeve. Um, and then it's like tight on the top and then it flows out on the bottom. And again, this is a midi length, perfect length for me. It's like exactly mid shin slash calf area it's like really 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 flattering beautiful cut highly recommend i wanted to try and order the mini dress of this too they have a very like it's like the same style it's just like mini i'm just tall and i just feel like whenever i order a mini dress as soon as i get it it shrinks right away and i'm just like it is just way too short even if i wear shorts underneath just the premise of like people seeing my like if this is the top <laughs> dress i'm just like absolutely not so midi dresses all the way for me or like a knee length dress um and then i got this little brown ribbed t-shirt um hey 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 jeez louise <laughs> the cat's going crazy um but yeah i got this ribbed t-shirt this is just like the long sleeves that i got those white and black long sleeves it's the same fit same material um i just wanted to get one in a little t-shirt and i thought the brown was really pretty i got this sweater this was on sale um all this stuff i got on sale but like this was like an actual like clearance item i thought this was going to be a super thin material but it is like a beautiful thick knit um and it's stunning it's like a little bit cropped it's a little bit boxy like wider but the sleeve length is absolutely perfect for me normally i find that like sleeves are like up to here on me this is literally perfect and it's so comfy it's perfect for like that spring or fall transition kind of like temperature and then i got two pairs of gen denim shorts obsessed with these um these are the dad short yeah high rise dad short um i got these in a 31 or also like a size 12 um and they they fit perfect like they are a perfect fit this is the regular size um in like more of like a blue wash denim this is the kind of denim i was looking for when i bought those jeans that i ended up returning from old navy these are perfect they're like the perfect material they're a little bit stretchy but not where it like feels like a jegging um but yeah the bottom of these ones are like a cutoff but they're a beautiful length like my thighs absolutely no chafing when i wear these so excited for those and then again the same high-rise dad short this is just in the curve love style i got one of each because i just didn't know which style was going to fit me better i feel like if i was to order again i would order the curve love again because i feel like i just get a little bit more room in like this area you know like that kind of like lower belly area i feel like i get a little bit more room in these and again beautiful length my butt doesn't hang out the bottom of them i love this like light wash kind of color stunning i won't be wearing these for a while because obviously it's still very cold here um but for now or for when i am getting to wear them i'm very excited okay but i'm gonna get dressed now i think i'm gonna wear just like a t-shirt and then a little because what's the temperature right now it's four degrees it's gonna go up to only 11 degrees so i think i'm going to wear maybe a long sleeve and then this cute jacket and then some like light wash jeans i feel like that would look cute so i'm gonna put my outfit together and then get my stuff and head to plato's closet
Yahoo. Okay, I am off. I never showed you guys my outfit, but I'm just wearing that white sweater. I'm wearing the black leather jacket, which literally I'm obsessed with. It's so freaking cute. Um, and then I just have on some like um, flare. No, they're not flare. Just like a baggy jean, a wide leg jean, um, a wide leg jean, and then my black Converse. So I'm headed now out. Oh, sorry, I got a tongue in my nose. Um, I'm headed out now to town. I got all my stuff in the back that I want to bring to Plato's closet. Let's hope we get some money. Oh, I forgot to put my white rings on. Dang it. I'm the worst for that. Um, anyway, okay. Headed into town. I'm listening to my audiobook. Um, I'm listening to The X by, I think it's Alifair. Alifair Burke, I believe, I believe is who author anyway it's pretty good it's like a crime scene kind of like mystery suspense whatever and it's good i like it so i'm gonna listen to that as i drive to town okay just dropped off my stuff at plato's closet um she said it's only gonna be like 20 minutes so i was gonna just sit here and read but i'm like right around the corner from indigo so i'm like i'm just gonna go in and have a look see what they have See if I can find anything. I don't need anything at all. But I just want to look because I literally haven't been to Indigo in a long time, it feels like. So I'm going to go look. Okay. Off I go. Oh, I should have cleared off my backup camera. Okay. Oh, well. I'm going to stop this now. Okay. Little update. So went into Indigo in between, um, like while I was waiting for my clothes. And we walk, I walked in there. <laughs> And Indigo had a huge, like, wall, basically, of all the new Lorcana cards. And apparently, they literally just came out, like, today. <laughs> so, I FaceTimed Austin. And I was like, do you want me to get some of these? And he's like, um, yes, please. So, we didn't even know they were coming out, but we're big Lorcana people. Just collecting. We play a little bit, but nothing crazy. Anyway, I got a ton of cards. <laughs> So I got a bunch from the the last set, like series two, and then I just got a bunch of the new series three ones. Um, and then once I was done there, I came back over to Plato's Closet and they were done with my clothes. I have never been offered so much money at Plato's Closet. I got $125 for all the clothes that we gave. And they like basically only gave me back like a stack like this much left. So they definitely take a lot for what they give. Like I feel like they probably could have given me a little bit more money, you know what I mean? But they also have to make money. So all good. Um, happy with how much we got. Happy with getting Lurkana cards. But now I'm going to go home. Um, I am ready to go have something to eat. And I don't want to eat out. I just want to eat at home. So I'm going to go out. People are looking at me. So we're going to go. <laughs> okay. Home. Just had lunch with Austin. He was just home for lunch. And we had lunch together, like I just said. Um, but we just opened up all our little Lurkana cards over lunch break so that was fun um but now it is time to do some cleaning so i'm actually gonna just go change out of what i have on now because i don't really want to like clean and like my nice clothes you know but i freaking love this shirt i love the sweater um but yeah i'm gonna clean i'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit there's not a whole lot to clean up um i gotta do some vacuuming straighten up a little bit um, Brandon and Heidi's room is like already ready. I just need to wash the sheets, um, but I've already pulled them off the bed and everything. So just once seven o'clock hits, I can start those up. Um, and then, yeah, that's like basically it. I'm going to open up all the windows though, like the blinds, um, to hopefully get some heat in here because it's a little bit cold. Um, but it's like beautifully, beautiful and sunny out right now. So that is nice, but I'm going to listen to the rest of my audiobook. I only have like two hours left on it, so I feel like if I just throw it on while I clean, it'll be great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go upstairs, change out of my cute little outfit. Sad, but that's what I want to do. I wanted to put together an outfit when I leave the house because then when I get home, I can just like throw on comfy clothes again. But I might actually run out again later, so I might end up throwing this back on, um, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I might run out again um, in case I need to go to like the grocery store or anything. I haven't decided if I'm going to go to the grocery store today or tomorrow, like before Brandon and Heidi get here. I just don't know what time they're getting here yet tomorrow. So it'll just depend on that, I think. But yeah, 
Um, anyway, okay, I'm gonna go change and then I'm gonna come downstairs and do some cleaning. Fun. I honestly, cleaning with an audiobook on is so soothing. Truly, I love it. so weird when you take off your noise canceling headphones <laughs> after you've had them on for a while everything is all cleaned up downstairs nice and sparkly um i always love the feeling of a clean house like seriously no better feeling all i need to do is finish um just quickly mopping up like the front hallway the little spot in between the stairs like this little spot, you know, right at the bottom of my stairs. I just haven't done it yet because I've been going up and down the stairs a lot and I didn't want to get it all messy again. Um, so I just need to mop that. And then other than that, everything's done. And I also realized I can actually make Brandon and Heidi's bed because they like to have the flannel sheets on. So I'm going to put the flannel sheets on because those are actually folded and put away. They're not, um, really. Are you really playing with a toy right now? All loud. You were just sleeping so lovely. Um, but yeah, the sheets that were on there already that I was planning on washing weren't the flannel sheets. So I can actually put their, um, <laughs> I can put their sheets on now, which is nice. So I'm going to go upstairs and do that. I also vacuumed upstairs. Um, so I just need to pull the sheets off of our bed and wash those because it's time to wash those. It's crazy because we have like a white comforter. I laid on there the other day, like just like on the top of it. When I was wearing all black and when I stood up, I was covered in little white cat hair. And it doesn't show up on our comforter because obviously it's white and Ellie's fur is mostly white. So when I stood up and I was covered in cat hair, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I've been trying to wash our sheets a little bit more often um, than what we like have in the past. So I'm gonna wash those today because I haven't washed them in about a week. So two weeks technically, I guess. Um, girl, you are shaking this cat tree so much. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly do a little mop and then go upstairs and finish the laundry and such that I need to do up there. Um, Ellie girl is being a little monkey. Ow. Um, but yeah, that's like basically it. It's like four o'clock now. Awesome, we'll be home in about an hour little over an hour um and then we will just have dinner and then we have our live with brandon and heidi and brianna and corey tonight so we will do that which i'm excited for what are you looking at little girl i ended up not going obviously to the grocery store tonight i'm gonna just go tomorrow morning because regardless brandon and heidi aren't gonna be here until probably earliest would be like my guess is like 10 but even then they would have to leave at like seven or eight so i don't think they'll be here that early so i'm just gonna run there in the morning um but yeah okay gonna mop the floor and then 
head upstairs and do some laundry. and Brianna and Corey. We're just getting all set up here. And I'm exhausted. We just finished watching the last two episodes. Well, no, we watched three episodes, didn't we? Three? Yeah, we watched three episodes of Bad Batch. We just finished the first season. Well, I technically did. Austin's already watched them all, but I got caught up. So, very good. But we're getting all set up here now. Ready? So hi everyone. <laughs> I never, I never know how to do these stupid things. I'm like, I don't know. You guys, hi everyone. Um, <laughs> thanks guys. We're Caitlin and Austin. Um, I'm on the channel Magically Caitlin, and we film more lifestyle stuff. But then we go to Disney World and have fun. And we recently just started a podcast about a month ago, uh, which is Miked Up Magic. And yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's us. That covers it. Yeah, sorry, I didn't really let you get a talk there. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to cover it. I mean, the only thing I will say though is you can't get everywhere taking if you don't have a bus. So I, I would, I would almost say monorail. I would say monorail because you can get everywhere with the buses, and you can't get rid of the Skyliner because that is the elite transportation. Okay, you're thinking logically here, I yeah. guess. I'm just thinking I hate the bus. <laughs> well, they would have to if they got rid of the bus. They're, they're just <laughs> making up their own rules. It's the first question.